I'm only pixel drawn by the cost. It's a slow opening. Not what you'd expect necessarily uh, from, from some of these teams, especially VP. Now, mid lane Kingslayer. He's going to come over oh, towards nice your bar. He's able to dodge a bit of the damage, get off the balance strike himself. Pops the fairy fire. It's not enough to keep him alive. It's at the help of Kingslayer, GPK. GPK plays it safe. Save. It's going to be run down, lower. It's got a haste rune going. They've got the three of them here. They'll find safe deep on their half of the map with the tag team. They'll have the control and damage to take safe down as Jawar claims the kill. Most of the targets on Quincy Crew. See how they can start things. DM heading in, safe. Okay, Able stun. to land the stun onto the two of them. GPK can't quite zip in close enough. And now the Wukong's command is down. Quincy Crew just turned. And DM and safe, they just get obliterated on the front lines. Now VP's got to run. GPK. He's off to the side, will turn with the stun. Polis is trying to chase, using the E-Blade blade to defensively save himself. He's out with the TP, but the snowball's back up. GPK, he's going to die as well. A, a, a disastrous move there from VP. My problem is they have no stuns. Like, the only stun they have, it was a good impale, you know, on two heroes, but there is no real follow-up. You're also playing into a bat, and they try to burst him. He pops the borrowed time, and suddenly the team fight is just over. As you said at the start, one of the, the issues with VP's lineup is they just, they, they don't do team fight, right? If you're there coming when there's five heroes, they're not gonna have a great time. When there's one hero, they'll have a perfectly fine time. It's Polis and TP's down bottom on his own. They're able to focus and delete the target. Uh, ever sort of the optimist. Gotta stay positive, yeah. Polison. He's going to be able to get the, the shards down. DM, he's got to go the, the other way around, and he's not going to be able to do so. Leslau, Polison, Yuar, they're here. And DM's gone. This is the easiest job for Scriff ever. Like, <laughs> he can't miss any kills because there are none. Hey, here we go. VP's going for some action, some objective. They're going for Roche. The See if they can do it. They're doing Roche. it quick. Quinn's heading over, though. Quincy crew, they don't want to let VP get this. Let's see if VP want to try Hyped and take it up. the fight. They're de-warding. It's Quincy Crew there into the pit. And now VP, can VP push Quincy Crew away from this? I don't know if they can. The team fight is much stronger for Quincy Crew. They've got Wukong's command. There They'll it is, it they pop it. And with that up, I mean, is GPK going to try for a move? Yeah, he's not going to be able to do so in time. Quinn gets it. has been taken. The Aegis has been picked up by Quinn. Nightfall's trying to take down Leslo towards the side. He hasn't got enough damage and Nightfall goes down. Save's gone in. He is able to steal the cheese. But that's it. He loses his life. He's dead as well. Two kills for Quincy Crew. They got the cheese he got at least. The cheese. So, you know, at least they'll have something to do whilst they're chilling this game. Bit Hope cheese. it's a bit big Hope, cheese, you know. Uh, yeah, but, uh, Everyone gets a slice. A strange game, the cost this one. Strange as, uh, game indeed. Now they're going to go in and just try to get the Mega Creeps. Yeah, Lion is missing. It's being pinged out. Lion has a Blink Dagger, so they need to be a bit careful. There's always going to be shield from a Baton. Monkey with the Axe. Here we go, safe. He's going to jump in with the stun. He's dead immediately. DM's trying to lead him with a BKB over towards Leslau. There'll be a buyback from, from save. And they're trying to hit into Quinn, but Quinn at this stage, he's just far too tanky. They can't do anything about the IO. Kingslayer's trying to run. It's a double kill for Yoar. Another Morph buyback's come out. Finger. They, they blow everything onto Yoar. They can't quite kill him. He's still alive. He's been kept up by Quinn. Oh, the, the Shuriken Finally, actually kills him. Finally, he goes down. He's out for 80. GPK getting focused by Loa and Leslau. Over to the side. Nightfall has managed to come and take Polison down low. Polison will fall. Quinn still alive. Loa gets back in. He's got the power of time up. Nightfall pops the cheese. Oh, he nearly gets silenced. Will manage to get Good out before stun. the last. It comes in from Loa. Hex coming out from save. That's but the right. Quinn is untouched. They're not dealing any damage to him. As Quincy crew just uh, completely in charge this whole game. Getting to play their, their game of Dota perfectly. As DM. He's going to get gone on first here. Polison getting low. You are able to get the Wukong's command down. GPK zips it. He gets taken out immediately. GPK's gone. Nightfall getting bashed. He's dead as well. The two cores down. They do have buybacks, but Yuar's just chasing him into the base. It's a triple kill for him. Hex out upon him. No Quinn's in with the tether. Turns over towards save. Save gets taken out. Yuar getting low. They He's done his the bash on the GPK in the balance, but Yuar will fall. He's down. Hex over to Nightfall. Nightfall able to pop the time lapse and escape. It's just the three of VP left alive. They may have killed Jawar, but the rest of Quincy crew, they're prepared to keep on pushing. They'll force out the fortification that's, from VP. That's the glyph. 50 seconds left on Aegis. They're still pushing Quinn. They have enough damage to take these barracks. Loa sitting DM. in the back. Punch. Get the jump in, DM. He's gone. That's him down for 80. No buyback on the bounty hunter. Quincy crew will have no trouble taking the bottom racks. And it is over.
It's been over for a while. GG is finally called as Quincy Crew. I mean, this game was kind of the definition of a walk in the park for them. Oh, for sure. They just kept to see it's their last chance, VP. They've got to pick it up now. Still very young, doesn't have uh, LAN experience. Maybe that's the reason, but uh, yeah, they're going to go in. See, they, they, they can find this, this first blood as they try and go for King Slayer. Another proc of the tag team. They've got it. First blood for Polison. Extra gold, doesn't ever have to go to the base, pretty much. Has casual Sage Mask and the Clarity. This hero consumes a lot of mana. Mid lane, Siege Creep, Look lots of Dead Prophet, ulti. They low. need to bring one extra hero to the mid. I mean, Loa's getting in position. He's here on the side. A courier just walks around the mid lane. They're able to set up with the Shackle Shot. Wrapping around with the sensor. They've got the chain stun. GPK's dead. The tower's defended. Quincy Crew easily able to push back GPK. Is, he didn't even manage to do sort of half the damage to the tower there. Uh, a very well put together defense from Quincy Crew. You know, Mirana landing an arrow, or if she gets like Moonlight Shadow level six. Oh, look at Quinn. They need to be grouping around with the Dead Prophet. Shackle does not connect. Tech team level two. They're in. They've got backup coming in though. Save and Kingslayer are around. GPK is getting dove underneath the tower. GPK goes down. A save and Kingslayer, they can't do anything to keep their Death Prophet alive. Save, he's got a, he's not getting out. He did have a couple of leap charges left, but wasn't able to jump away in time. It's accepted his fate underneath the tower. This is such an insane amount of damage. I believe I first saw it from Team Liquid a couple of months ago. Windranger plus a Tusk. Polosone having an extremely good game. It, sort of knowing that VP saw it, Quinn TPs off the back of being smoked towards the top lane as Nightfall will be fine. Pops the ult. is able to disjoint the stun from Yuar. Setup won't be there to allow Quinn to close oh, the gap for Polosone. Again. He's still able to get in on this. They've got to come over with TP save. He's coming over. Tag in with the tag team. team and the focus fire. The shackle shot is laid down. They catch him out. He goes down before VP can get in and keep him alive. Polison will be chased by GPK with the siphon. GPK able to find one kill in turn. But it's a second time. You know, we saw Nightfall going down on the bottom lane. That's He's back out on the map. He's dead a second time in quick succession. He's still on top of the network, but killing Alchemist just always going to feel great. It's like killing the Meepo, killing all these heroes that can flash farm. The players that go for Midas or they just have casual gloves of haste. He's like, why not? Yeah. Why should I no, I think not it's upgraded? It's just yeah. a, a solid breed of a game where, you know, your wilds identified that, you know, what his team's getting kills. They're getting action. Polison is setting up so much and it's not stopping. Over towards mid, they get the catch onto DM. But this time the save will be there. Kingslayer's hit the six. He's got the false promise, throws it out onto DM. They will be able to turn, trap Polison underneath the tower. This time they'll turn the, the move on its head because of the fact that they, they have now got that six on Kingslayer. Top lane, Leslau. It's going to be the focus of this smoke movement. And VP, they should have no struggle getting this. Oh, the Necrobook blocks it, but uh, yeah, they should still get the kill. Oh, he almost gets saved. <laughs> he nearly does. Yeah, Kingslayer having to use the false promise to stop Leslau from bringing save down. Peep. I want to get this tier one arrow. Does connect onto Quinn here. They're coming in with a follow-up, popping everything onto Quinn. But the Stonewall save, save comes out. Policy trying to keep him alive. It won't work. It's VP still able to burst down Quinn. Now they're going to see if they can get more VP. Diving the tier twos. This is the VP we expect to see this sort of aggression as they know that they can chase down lower as well. Quincy Crew, they want to use this opportunity when Exorcism is down because this is where the most damage comes from. Alchemist, you know, he's farmed, but he's not that. Oh, this is big if they can catch him. They can. They've got the setup. He will get the ult off. See if they've got enough damage to work through that regeneration. The save's going to be there as False Promise comes out for Kingslayer. GPK seeing if he can chase for even more. He's looking towards Quinn. TP's coming over from Yawar. Has got the arm that Radiant's ready for the fight. They'll turn towards GPK. GPK's been shackled. Yawar's in on top of them. GPK trying to run, but another slow comes out from lower. Yawar turns over towards DM. That's going to be GPK him. down. Quinn's able to finish him off. Nightfall turns over towards lower. Lower held in place by Kingslayer. They'll nuke down the Enchantress. Quincy crew, they need to... Uh... You know, ignore the Bristleback, try to go for different people. Shackle, ooh, that was close. He's gonna TP out, they have no stuns left. Yeah, they're heading over across the river. Lower on the low ground, Polison and Quinn, we'll see what sort of angle they can get into this fight. The Moonlight Shadow used for VP to set, it, set themselves in position. Oh, he tried to go for a play, you know, scout for the neutral creeps and snowball on the high ground, but there were no creeps. Now Polison, he will still be able to get the snowball off, and he should be left behind by the rest of them. He'll get the punch up. Uh, he goes down lower. 
Also being chased down by DM. VP, they're able to run down the two supports. Roche is up and they've just popped the Ghost. They, they need to, to go, go for this. And snipe the Roche with the power shot, but that's it. I mean, Yawar could walk in with the reincarnation, but Roche, it's going down too far. Close attempt with the snipe from the power shot. Quincy Crew, every single time Exorcism is down, they will try to look for a fight. Here we have it, there's the jump. Polison trying to close in on to Nightfall. Nightfall, no chemical rage for a couple of seconds. The arrow comes out to Quinn. They've caught Quinn with the stun. Polison, damn nice save with the stun. Takes him off the time. The concoction it's out onto the three of them as they come in with the star storm. It's the Ravage, Triple kill not the for concoction. Nightfall. Oh my god, like it was a cool save. It was Kingslayer who bought it. Here we go, up to the base. It's Quincy Crew. They've got to bring something out. They'll get the shackle out onto the two of them. Policy jumping up to punch punch for the false promises there. Keeping DM safe. Nightfall jumps over the invisible blade towards Yuar. They bring down Polis and Yuar to fall the watch. Back for a second round. Shackle shot out as well as the raw. They're focusing Nightfall. But they don't have the damage. They can't stay on top of him. They've got to back away from this exorcism. As GPK. Going to head back. Quinn popping the BKB. But now with the BKB coming to an end, it's very hard for Quinn to, to get stuck in at all. Focus fire still on cooldown for 25 seconds. VP, they can just head back up and take this Rax. As Quincy crew, they, they just can't push them back. Oh. Oh, the catapult will finish off the barracks. Nice shackle. They're going all in on GPK. With the ghost and the how, but he's tanky. Polison, he's going to end up dying back. That's a dead Polison for a minute. DM diving up towards the tier fours. Quinn's gone. They're heading over to Yuwa. Yuwa, he'll turn face towards DM. He goes down the once. Can Quincy Crew punish this? They've only got the three of them. Yuwa stunned immediately on dead. respawn. He's out of the game. Triple kill again for Nightfall as VP. This, GG is this is what yeah. we expect to see from them. Yeah, this is over aggressively to, to claim this bounty rune. We'll see if there's going to be any contest from. It was a good DM. He's alone here as Loa and Yawar. They're going to look to run him down. And DM. Less Lau getting stunned. This should be the first blood. Oh, yeah, there will be, as they will also get DM in return. So, BP just a bit quicker to get the job done. Sweeping over Loa, coming up to the high ground. Kingslayer, oh, this is an easy kill for Quinn. And he goes, round it back into the Dissimilate. Kingslayer, he's gone. Yeah, Troll still a bit far ahead. Over the Raid King, GPK, he managed to come back with those uh, two good rotations. So now bottom, there's now. He's getting gone on again by the, the same two save. And GPK getting aggressive underneath the tower. Save. We'll die for this. Not before Leslau does. So both members of VP able to get the benefit of that XP. Found a ton of gold in the last couple of minutes. Uh, decides to get the Boots of Travel, which I really like. First oh. finger kill. We got to get Not the catch. Use it. On to Polison. Polison. Finger. He's got oh. the sun. He's going to be able to live here. Dives away. VP not ending up uh, committing for, for that kill. They, they let him live. And now Quinn, he's going to get in aggressively with the counter play. Jumping over towards GPK. Leslau closes the gap. GPK able to turn with the Viper Strike. Leslau looking for the TP out. He's going to be able to get to the fountain. But the damage is too much over time. So he'll still tick down. They'll lose Leslau. Quinn. Astral step ready in a second. He's going to have the step and the remnant. Is that going to be enough damage? Pulls back GPK, it is. It'll go down, but he's able to bring GPK with him, Quinn. Some deep vision placed by Vertis Pro. See DM. Well, he's gonna get gone on here. Can they can he stay alive with the siphons? He is managing to live through all of this damage. And finally falls to the pop of the Aphotic Shield, but the hex controls there for save onto Quinn. They lock down the voice spirit once again, and VP able to outnumber Quincy Crew. Surrounding Loa as Loa is blocked off by Kingslayer. It's too much slow and it's too much damage for Loa to deal with. As VP, they'll enter the jungle of Quincy Crew and take down three. You know, there are still a couple of abilities that go through Magic Immunity, Exorcism, Viper Strike, but he needs to be able to care, take care of himself. Mid lane. Gonna have some aggression here for Quinn, straight under the tower, jumping onto GPK with the Astral Step. GPK is gonna be taken down before the TPs are in, over to the side. Remnant grabs on a safe save, will be able to turn with the finger, blows up lower before he can even have any sort of chance to put the borrowed time, or turn with the control onto Quinn. Quinn, he's got one jump down to the low ground, As no you'll step, step for eight to buy seconds. A bit more time. Resident Pulse giving him some protection from the physical, but the magical still coming through. The stun's out for Nightfall, they take down Quinn. Supernova's out, VP, they're gonna try and turn, take down egg. the egg. They're going to not be able to do so. Polison, Supernova goes off. He'll be able to dive away. The Quincy crew. Want to try and push VP back. Once the exorcism goes down, they're going to be a little stronger. Lower will let the borrowed time popped out of him. Remnant pulling in Kingslayer. 
waiting for the opportunity to jump in Quinn. He's going to go over the first Astro Step, Dive for there's the Supernova. Can, Can they, they take it out the of time? Egg? They're trying to kill the Egg. Roshan's going to fall. Dyer get it, and Quinn picks up the Aegis. Quincy Crew, they'll get both benefits, and now they're ready to fight. Les now trying to go for GPK, but GPK turns over towards Queen. Quinn's been silenced. Yawa is caught in the middle in the Nether Toxin. They may have got the Roche, they may have got the Aegis, but they've lost four. They may have lose Quinn as well. Bots over oh, towards the travel. mid lane. GPK's ready for round Dissimilate two. Dissimulate two seconds. Can he jump out? He can't. The Atos is there. Follow-up stun from save. They'll get the team white VP. That's actually six heroes getting killed. GPK is going to be hunted here, Quincy Crew. I'm going to get the jump, and he's able to find the BKB elf in time. GPK is going to continue to be chased by the four of them. Last one more out. Bash. And they will find him. It's GPK. Almost pushing out just him and save. Quincy Crew making a coordinated move straight on top of him. Save also could be in trouble, but the blink out just in time. Saves deep underneath the tower. Lower still trying to chase <laughs> in upon him. They want, they want to dive this. As he gets in, Safe will manage to turn with the two-man stun, but surrounded by Quincy Crew, Safe will also fall. This is a good rotation from Quincy. They get the two kills. It's going to be tricky. A lot of it down to Leslau to, to find that perfect jump, Polison to, to find the follow-up and oh, set up the know. supernova. They know. He knows something in his up. The ward down, though, Leslau. Tries to jump, Quinn's in as well, look at a bird through King's there, they'll pop with the BKBs, they take he down the Undying. Back. TM holds his ground with the BKB, turns towards Jawar, Jawar's gonna get burst! Doesn't even get the chance to put the BKB as Jawar's out! Supernova from the high ground, Leslau, he's backing off, tries to TP out, but the Rod of Atos will cancel his attempted escape. Leslau will fall, two dead on Quincy Crew. They need to fall back, like Jawar does not pop a BKB, quick reaction there from Lion. Versus Pro only the word they triangle. Oh, they actually have one, also scanning the triangle, the one they placed when they were trying to reach it. Oh yeah, it's still oh, there. Oh yeah? Yep. So they've got I'm some good information, blind. and Leslau's gonna jump. They get the jump straight around to GPK, he's been bashed up, he gets the BKB off in time over the side, Jawar, he goes down, doesn't get the chance to put the BKB again! Jawar's out of the fight, no chance for a BKB, and now the rest of Quincy Crew, they've got to run. Quincy has been caught he's by the Hex, again, save, just setting up onto these cores, and Quincy Crew, they're not ready for this. The lockdown's always there. And there it is, Roshan to be theirs, VP. Tower, gone. Quinn. It's going to try and slow them down. And even when Polison's back up, of course, no supernova for a very long time after that attempted uh, use of it on the top lane to survive. VP's just got all the space in the world to take this mid Rax. Kind of low on mana on Lion, but let's see if they Save. can burst him. He's him with the Hex, and straight away low is gone. The Hex is just too much for Quincy Crew's heroes to deal with. Yeah, he was sitting inside the Viper's Nether Toxin, so break ability. You are. He's been stunned. He's got to step back, dive back to safety from Polis and over to the side. Leslau gets focused. Jawar can't get into help out. BKB and he runs away. Like, this is exactly what VP Quinn. wants. He went in to try and steal away the gem, but he's going to be dead for that. Jumps into the back lines to pick the gem up, but they just kill him off. And he has no buyback. Neither like, him or Leslau. Th this is going to be another set of barracks. They might, uh, you know, start poking on tier 4 towers. They can't end the game right now because it's like 50 seconds, but uh, they also can't go to the bottom lane because there's still tier 1 and tier I mean, 2 they, tower, they but they will go, the game. They, they will try. They can certainly try it. 40, 30 seconds on the two, on that two cores. VP's going to have a good amount of time of the AC to beat down onto these tier 4 towers. I don't, I don't know if Quincy Crew will be back up in time to defend. That's the first tier seconds. 4 down. Ooh, it's going to be close. They have got a supernova. Now, Polisum, if he can maybe get the slant to all of them, but at the same time, they're just going to commit. Again, save. He's in with the opening. Jumps in, finds the Hex, set him onto Lower. Lower, this time, will be able to get the borrowed time off. Ten seconds until Leslau's up. VP, they're pushing on. The Tier 4's gone. We'll see if they play seconds, safe. They will have one they're more playing fight. it safe. Stepping up to the high ground, the Ancient exposed. One more fight for VP will secure them the victory here. Aegis and Chi is still on Virtus Pro. The ghosts are out. BKB popped by Yawai. He's going to pop it early this time. Turns over towards DM. He's going to pop the ult. The Supernova down as well. Yawai's got the bash as they take down the DP, but the Supernova falls. Nightfall goes down the once. GPK is going to be back with a second life off the back of the Aegis. They pull in Nightfall. Hex out from save onto Yawai. Yawai locked down into the Ray 5 Blast. The Fika from save. save. They burst through Yawai. Yawai down for 80. But Quincy Crew, they found three. Can they get GPK? Another stun holds back Quinn, but it's just GPK Lowe's safe left die. alive. Quinn, he's just dying towards all of the zombies. To Polison, he's dying as well. The creeps kill him off. It's left to lower and Leslau to defend. GPK is safe. They're going to look to finish the game. They have only two heroes. They have only two heroes left. I mean, Wraith King's coming over. Nightfall. 
He's ready for the finishing blow. Comes in with the buyback to close the game up. And with just two left alive, Quincy Crew, they have this nothing to defend this. As GG is called, VP will get the victory and will move on. Two to one against Quincy Crew. Virtus Pro, like, you could feel a completely...